over to the Sunday games. We'll start with the first one of the day. Bills, Dolphins. Bills 34, Dolphins 31. We'll start with the rushing yards. Bills ran for 170 yards. Dolphins ran for a, ran for 42 rush yards behind the uh, the king running running game guru in San Francisco, Mike McDaniel. I'm starting to think that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What would make you say that? Uh, kind of just the way that Miami played this year, this last playoff game. Him having a vape on the sideline like he's a 17-year-old high school student. Um. And the, there's that one video clip this year of him. It's a home game, and he goes, guys, would I be crazy if I throw it 10 plays in a row on this drive? What do the Dolphins proceed to do? Throw it 10 plays in a row. <laughs> you know what? You know, I my, he's he's a quirky guy. You know, he seems to be like the guys on the team seem to like him. But you know what, Mike? Be a man. Smoke a cigarette. You know, I'm starting to think Kyle Shanahan talked him up. That way he could get Brian Greasy and Anthony Lynn on his staff. <laughs> he almost he almost kicked him out of Santa Clara so he could actually improve his coaching staff. <laughs> but what a sloppy game. You know, the sloppy turnovers by the Bills. The Dolphins, their receivers were trying to catch the ball with bricks. I don't I think Jalen Waddle had about four four drops. It was really funny when Jim Nath Oh, he actually caught this one. So so catch this. On Sunday me and uh, two other buddies, we st- we went, we went, started with uh, like a six-leg parlay. I think it was, you put in 60 bucks, and if all six happen, we get $1,500. Well, the first one was this, Jalen Waddell over under three and a half catches. We're all like, oh, we're smashing the over on this. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then he has three drops and ends up, ends up with three catches, and we're just like, Oh. Well, this is going to be the start of this day. And uh, the big feast on that parlay was... That's why you don't do parlay. And then the big the big chunk of that was for the Vikings Vikings game. And um, we'll get into that later. But we should have known when Jalen had those two drops right away that it was going to be a long day <laughs> for trying to get... And with a third-string quarterback, you, you can't do that. You have to help, help your young quarterback mm-hmm. out. And... Thompson, I thought, actually played pretty well. It was just he McDaniel was outcoached by McDermott. The receivers didn't want to catch the ball, and it was it, it's you're not going to win a game with a third string quarterback in the playoffs on the road with drops and coaching. But also, there. it just isn't. It's unacceptable happen. the way that Josh Allen played because he let he kept the Dolphins in this game with three turnovers. I mean, when when the Dolphins go seventeen or forty five with two interceptions, the Bills should have won this game easy. Yeah, well, and Dolphins got a defensive touchdown. Yep. And it, like, when when are people going to actually start discussing the like the turnovers are a problem for Josh Allen? They are. Mm-hmm. He misses Brian Dable. Well, I think he was turning the ball over even last year. I mean, I think he. I think Josh, he just he he's trying so hard to make the perfect play that he needs to realize I can't force this all the time and I got to protect the ball a little better. Like when I, when I know Bradley Chubb is coming around the edge, you know, because that's that's going to cost this team in the long haul. And also, again, the loss of Von Miller because he was signed to be a finisher. And over these next couple of weeks, however many more games the Bills play, it could be one, it could be three. Um, they're they're going to need their, their their front to get after it because your point you're not playing Skylar Thompson and you're not playing a weak Miami Dolphins offensive line going forward. Well, they are this week, but we'll talk about that later. You don't think Von Miller Von Miller would definitely help out this week? Oh, he's got to be like just drooling, oh, yeah. chomping at the looking bit. looking at the way that Cincinnati's offensive line is limping into that game. Yeah, and uh, I the other part too is is like. The, Dol- the Bills, it looked like about later or like in the mid to late later part of the season, it looked like they thought they figured out their run game, but it still just seems to have disappeared and they rely way too much on Josh Allen's legs. They need to they need to find a running back and then their offensive line is beat up too mm-hmm. and they're just struggle to develop them. Well, and then, you know, guys, after that week six win in Kansas City, Buffalo season has either gone downhill or stayed pretty stagnant. They haven't been that same team. 
Well, they're like a lot of like almost every Viking area. Not so it's maybe not just the Vikings, but every Minnesota sports team. They play to the level of their opponent almost every week, no matter if they're good or bad. They they're just they squeeze by. It seems like every week, maybe outside of like three or four games this year. That is true. 